The German manufacturing data is poor again and it's weaker than expected and it's March. We cannot go again with the rhetoric of it's temporary, it's seasonal, because this is not true anymore and it wasn't true either from the start. We have seen a deteriorating uh, set of uh, figures from the Eurozone and we need to pay attention to those because it is happening at the same time as the European Central Bank is talking about being even more aggressive with financial financial repression, with being uh, more aggressive also with TLTROs and liquidity injections. If we look at the global data, where do we see some signs of hope? We've seen it in, in, in uh, uh, emerging markets, uh, the economic uh, sentiment and the city index of economic surprise has been a little bit better, predominantly thanks to the rise of commodities, but we need to pay attention to currencies. Currencies are showing again in the Turkish lira in the Argentine peso, that things are as fragile as they were last year. So let's take away a little bit of exposure to inflationary factors, to uh, sectors that are very exposed to GDP growth, because those estimates will likely continue to worsen, particularly in the Eurozone, uh, where the weakness of the economy is more evident. And let's also be uh, quite, let's say, skeptical about inflationary pressures. Inflationary pressures because the the more QE is prolonged and the more that uh, zero interest rate policies remain, it is very likely that it will continue to perpetuate overcapacity and debt and therefore show disinflationary pressures. Thank you so much.